Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a workout trailer. Like it's got everything in here. Yeah, so it's like a mobile fitness tack room. Okay. <laughs> is how we kind of describe it. Yeah, she's got everything. Look, this whole back end is going to open up back here. Yep. Look at that. So we come in and out. Oh yeah. You got everything you need. Everything you need. Yeah, so there's 25 benches uh -huh. and stair steppers. And then there's bars over on this side. And then just different varieties of weights to put on your bar. So everything that I do is typically strength-based, cardio-based. Yep. And so you can take this into any any small town around here that doesn't have its own fitness center or yeah. a workout option. Show up, set up, and uh, people can come out to work out. That was, yeah, that was the neat thing that I noticed when I started working up in like rural Nebraska. People do not have the access to gyms like they would in like Omaha, Nebraska or Lincoln, Nebraska. Right. And so there's a lot, there's not a lot of fitness trainers. So if I can take that to the rural town and make people's lives better. Yeah. That's my purpose. I love it because yeah, there's not always a lot of options in no. rural America for anything, much less fitness, right? And we like to foster, I mean, group fitness is all community. Right. So it's, it's another way of getting the community back together. Right. And so that's the fun part too. Yeah, if you sweat together, you're gonna stick together, yes. right? <laughs> yes. I love it. Maggie leads her friends and I through a strength and cardio class on the farm. Once we finish, I ask her why she does this on top of her busy days being a farmer. So what'd you think? Well, that was awesome. Good job. Your intensity and passion, you can feel it come through. So I love that you take this to rural areas and small towns. I'm sure it just lights up their world for a day. Yeah, I mean, they, that's the one thing they look forward to. Yeah. They go to one small town um, one day a week, Yeah. and they all look forward to it. And the cool thing is, is all the towns are within typically a half hour. So if they want to drive to another town and get multiple workouts in through the week, they can. Heck yeah. So tell me a little bit about why fitness is so important to you. You get one body. Yeah. And if you don't take care of it, you're not going to live forever, right? Right. right. Um, I watched my dad pass away from brain cancer. And not that he wasn't fit. I mean, he was a fit farmer. Right. But um, the more you take care of your body, the better your chances are. Yeah. So that's why it's important to me. I grew up running, so that's where it all started. Yeah. I was a cross country runner in high school. Um, that was how I mentally coped with things that were happening with my dad's health. And I knew once my dad passed away that when I, um, I wanted to keep fitness in my life because it's like a natural antidepressant. Oh yeah. And so I take one more pill when I can just go work out and have like the best day ever after, right? And so I incorporated that and when I made the commitment to come back and farm, I had to, s how, how else am I gonna keep it, right? Right. So I committed to getting certified and training and I have the best of friends because of it and the best support system and I'm a better farmer for it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm stronger, I'm fitter, I'm faster and I can farm better for it. Yeah, good for you, I yeah. love that.